To unlock Forge after the CE update, head to your Steam library and go to Home. Now locate Halo the Master Chief Collection, right click, and go to Properties. Now head to the Local Files tab, and click Browse Local Files. Now head to the following directory, go to MCC, Binaries, Win64. Now you'll see the file mcc-win64-shipping.exe. Now with Hex Editor open, go ahead and drag the file into it. Now go ahead and copy this offset that I'll have in the description. Hit Ctrl G on your keyboard, and then paste in the offset, and hit OK. You will then be taken to byte B2, change it to 08. Now that's it, you just unlocked Forge, so go ahead and hit Ctrl S or save, whatever you want to do, and load up NC- <laughs> and go ahead and load up MCC. Just a side note, it's probably a good idea to play with anti-cheat disabled, just because this time around you ended up modifying a more important file in the game. Ah, it's beautiful, the create tab is back. And just because I'm lazy, I'm not gonna go ahead and explain everything that Forge can do in this video. So that being said, here's what I showcased in my last video. I also advise using an Xbox controller that you can plug into your PC, as the controls are kinda weird and I'd suggest that using the D-pad is a lot better. Feel free to load up any map that you want, and start forging away. It's actually pretty unbelievable that this forge works hardly without any issues at all. I haven't actually tried forge with any other maps, but if it works for Forge World, I'm pretty sure you could guess. And that's not even the best part. Like I said, feel free to create any kind of map you want, but now, you can actually save your map as a new variant and play it with your friends on Steam. Forge is a pretty powerful resource, and I'd suggest using it whenever means necessary. Now when you go into the custom games lobby, you will find that the map that you created is in the list of the Forge World maps. Well now you know how to mod your file and get Forge into Halo Reach MCC early without having to wait for them to update it. Besides what was shown in my previous video, Theater Mode is actually unlocked as well and allows you to do pretty much everything that was doable on the 360. It's truly amazing just how well all the 4K resolution comes out when you view everything in Theater Mode. Out of anything in MCC, I think the Theater was most impressive when unlocking Forge. And now that Theater is here, it can only mean one thing down the road when I do my AI battles from now on. Well that's it for this video. Be sure to give some suggestions, comment, or like and subscribe if the video helped you. I have been in Stalamic Zephyrcraft. Good night guys.